What's up guys, it's Frozen Helm, and welcome back to Five Above Three Houses. Today we are doing Chapter 6 of the Ash and Wolves DLC. Last time we figured out that Totally Not a Villain is indeed a villain, and that he has 99 defense and resistance. Yuri betrayed us, but not really. And now we're here, and we have to fight through his... His assassins, his uh, his snipers, and his four bolting mages. So that's gonna suck. And then the Ashen Wolves are all over here. They're all the way over here, and they're all poisoned. And Constance has a bow right there. Oh god. So yeah, uh, this chapter is gonna be a lot of combat in a very short amount of time. So I spent a while off screen preparing. I think I did the best I could. Actually, let me change these. Yeah, I spent I spent a, a, a while preparing for this chapter because it's going to be kind of hard. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I've done all I can do. And just fair warning, there's a package that I have that's supposed to be arriving probably in the middle of recording this video. So if I leave for a moment, if my dogs bark or whatever, then that's why. So, pardon the interruption in advance, and without further ado, uh, let me save first. Save. And let's do this. Begin. Defeat the commander, yeah, obvious. Matthew, one of the Ashen Wolves falls in battle, or it's a time limit, really? That's a lot of blood. Too much blood. This is hard to watch. Okay. Do that. Alright. Sure. What do we do? Could you step within the magical vortices beside us to obstruct their flow? Quickly now! It is crucial to halting the right of rising. The vortices are repelling the crests of the apostles. We can't block them ourselves. If you place someone other than those students from the Ashen Wolves house on top of the four vortices, you can thwart the right of rising. There are 20 turns until the ritual is complete. Stop the right of rising before it's too late. Look, we really want to help, but right now we just can't. Please do what you can. And they all take 4 damage at the start of each turn. That's... And Baltus takes 6 because his HP, I guess. Yeah, his HP. Okay, well. We have 20 turns to do this. So that's dumb. I, there better not be reinforcements. If there are reinforcements in this chapter, I swear to god. Uh... Oh wait, there's a chest over here I should've brought- Uh, I should've brought a key. I'm so stupid. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Anyway, you know what? We're gonna go without it. It's fine. It's fine. We can do this. God, that's so much damage. Holy crap. 31 damage from one hit, dude? Crazy. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. You guys can all hit me. I do not care. Uh, I don't want Javelin because he can hit me from 3 range anyway. So I want my Steel Lance. And wait. Uh, um, okay, wait. Yep. Um, okay. They, so they can move. Good. They can move. But I bet if I attack any of these guys, then everyone moves. I bet. If I attack these guys, then like everyone starts moving. And that's bad. So... Okay, wait. Uh, you... 28 damage? Jeez. Well, that's a lot. Okay. Um... 
But I kind of don't want him to take much. Oh, God. You 29 damage to Balthus. So much, man. That's so, so much. Do I want to just move in? Uh, but they move. What do I do? Like, do I have to just go up and just take out these mages? Who, me? Maybe. I don't know, Hilda. Maybe, maybe it has to be you. Who knows? Because I need to take out these Omanites, but I don't have... I, I should have given myself an armor slayer, actually. That would have been a good idea. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. This is gonna be a stupidly annoying chapter. I can't kill him. Ugh. This chapter is gonna be so annoying. Like, really, really annoying. Um, okay, what do I do? Because if both him and this guy hit, if they both hit, Balthus is dead. So, and he takes 6 damage every turn, so I can't afford to keep him that, that way for too long. Stay focused. 11 times 2. The stupid thing is that, like, none of my units use magic, like, at all, except for Linhart. So these army units are basically impregnable from the start of this chapter, really. Freaking bow right there. Ah. Uh, there's a bow user right... No, that's... No, that's the other bolting mage. Can I hit him? I only do 11 damage. Really? How much resistance do you have? Dang, man. Uh. Okay, wait. And then this bow user can hit me. Ugh. Just from turn one, I'm stumped. Because of freaking Balthus. Now these guys can hit him too. Look at this. Like, what do I do? Like, do I just run? What do I do? I guess I just run. Like, I mean, there's not much else I can do. I guess I need. I guess Baltus just needs to run because I can't have him in combat right now. Like, Yuri is another story because he's not getting hounded by all these bolting mages. Like, he's fine. Like, Yuri, he's he's fine. Like, no one's going to hit him. Uh, no, that guy hits him. Yeah, Yuri's fine where he is. Because no one, no one's going to hit him. Like he doesn't he doesn't get hit. No one hits him. But like Balthus is just sitting there, a prime target for these bolting mages. Anyway, I need I just I need to shut up and get moving. You can wait, you can move here? I didn't know that. That's interesting. In chapter four you can move there? Because this is the same map as chapter 4 of the main story, but I didn't know this was actual, like, ground you could move on. I thought this was just the set piece. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Ready and anyway. Willing. Uh, I need to, first off, I need to tank these guys. So let's do that. Not the mage, though. So let's... Lock in the mage. So I am taking three... Three axes. Uh, yeah, steel sword should be fine, honestly. Uh, 
Let's see. Hilda needs to be here. Yeah. Hilda can be here to take out this this bow. This bow user right here. Wait, they all do 10 times 2? What? They all do 10 times 2 to Dimitri and they have a 75% chance of hitting? What? I'm standing on. I'm standing on cover. How do they do 10 times 2 still? What? That's stupid. Like, I'm standing on cover. Oh my, that's stupid. How do they... How? How do they do that? I will prevail. Oh my god. So I basically confirmed my death, really. But you know what? I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna keep going on. And just see. This is stupid. I need two of my best people just to... Just to take out that one side. Ugh, battle. Like that's so dumb. Sally Ford. Can I bolt in these guys? Nope. Don't have enough. Don't have enough power. So, this is how it feels. Infinite power flowing forth from the chalice without the chalice's protection. I doubt anyone will survive. The fuck happened? Oh, they all take the what the. Good. He missed. Thank God. There's this guy, and he does nothing. What? That hit me? Ugh. Come on. That's unlucky. I'm gonna. I gained luck, and I'm gonna need it if I'm gonna survive this now. I have vantage, but it doesn't really matter. Ow. Yeah. Oh wow, I killed him in one hit. That's actually pretty good, but... I'm gonna need a bit of luck if I'm gonna survive this. Bow. Ow. He doesn't have plus one range? I thought he did. Ow. Yeah. Over already. No, he hit me. Dang it. Alright, well, I'm using Divine Pulse already. Oh my god. This sucks. Uh. Yeah, I have to use Divine Pulse already because I got hit by a 30 and a 44 at the same time. Are you serious? They can all hit me. Except this guy, but still. Uh, anyone that has like a valley skill I can use? Uh, anyone has it? No. Anyone has a valley I can use? Anything? No one. I thought someone had, like, rally defense. Oh, no, wait, that's Balthus, and he's all the way over there. Well, okay. Well, tanking these guys is out, I guess. That's stupid. Stay focused. Well, tanking all of them is out, I guess. I will Gotta prevail. just wait here, then. I'll go this way. Who, me? Oh, there needs to go here. When <laughs> does also. Ready and willing. Quag goes here. 
Ash goes here. Then. Yep. Happy runs. Constance runs and fades. Sure. Okay. So it's ten. Is it ten damage like every turn or what? I don't know. If one of those bolty mages crits or something, this is gonna like. If one of those bolty mages crits, then I am just done with life. You never had a chance. Like honestly. HP, strength, speed, good. Gonna need those. Ow. Ow. Ugh. I must stay focused. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Nice. Good. That makes sense. Ow. No, he survived. Oh my God, he actually lived. What? He actually lived. How did he live and the others didn't? Did he have more defense or something? What What happened? How did he live and the other ones didn't live? Are you serious? Two divine pulses already? I have to start from the beginning. Oh my god. Yeah, no, yeah, sure. This is stupid. Yep. Oh my this is dumb, dude. Okay. Well, I guess I'm taking one of these assassins. Uh... Man, this is stupid. I'll cut through. Steel sword. I should have replenished my steel sword. I suck. Uh, what does steel sword have over? How much might you have? Eighty-five hit though. Cause I kind of want to kill these guys if I if I have the chance to. Items. Let's equip that. Wait. Balthus needs to run away from the scary thing. Constance also needs to run away from the scary thing. Happy also needs to run away from the scary thing. No, not like that. So, without the chalice. Sure, yeah. Ten damage to everyone. Which is dumb, by the way. I mean, including our allies, so that's kinda nice, I guess. If it's every turn, then this chapter became a bit easier. Yeah, now I killed him, so that's good. What? Are you serious? What are these low hit rates and why are they hitting me? What the heck? Oh my god, this is so dumb. I've used three divine pulses already. I only have two left. And it's turn one. Oh my god. That's dumb. What are these low hit rates, man? Uh. 
This is stupid. Yep. Let me at him. But this this so low. So without the challenge. How do they hit these? Yeah, I have to not kill him. Uh. 